Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 4.3, Factor Theorem. This is a great A star video. Make sure you know it and let us start. Personally, I think that Factor Theorem is a really fun uh, kind of uh, mechanic of math because it allows you to find a factor of a specific equation without knowing that uh, the equation, what the equation is. And it is useful for factorizing a cubic equation, which uh, it's, it's kind of likely that you'll get in exams. And so factor theorem is really important. Alright, this is a classic question on factor theorem, and so let us try to solve this. For fx equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6, prove that it is a factor. If you uh, do long division of uh, the equation then you can get that it is a factor but there are way easier methods to do it so since it's called factor theorem it's going to be something that deals with factors and if one special thing about a factor is if the factor is zero then the equation itself will be zero because anything multiplied by zero is zero so now what makes this factor zero when x is equal to one x minus one is zero because one minus one is zero i think i don't need to explain that again so why don't we substitute um, 1 into x so we're basically doing f1 into this equation and so we have 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 6 which is 1 plus 4 plus 1 minus 6 which is 6 minus 6 equals 0 and that is true so x minus 1 is in fact a factor of x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 but for every proof question you pretty much need to say a sentence because of factor theorem x minus 1 is a factor of fx so that is how you solve this kind of proof that it is a factor question and also one thing to note is that if you want to find a factor of a specific cubic you don't that if it didn't tell you that uh, something is a factor of it you can do trial and error to check if if x is something then if the whole thing equals zero you can say that um, the x that you've input uh, might add the something that makes it uh, positive basically it's the opposite sign of that I, that input that you've put into the fx will be a factor of this equation so if you've put in 2 as x then you will know that x minus 2 is a factor of that equation as long as the output is 0 so that is what factor theorem means so my tip is to just check it out Try trial and error always work um, well most of the time because GCSE seriously they won't give you some values like a million like x plus a million multiplied by something else like that which it's not even going to 
it's just not possible so yeah just um some of the most often um uh, most commonly uh ca commonly used factors are x plus one or x minus one so always try to substitute um one and negative one into that equation to see if that turns out to be a zero and that often give a good result and if it is a factor then you can do long division get the uh, other part which is a cubic no a cubic with a factor never mind a cubic can be written as a factor plus uh, multiplied by a quadratic and so we've learned how to uh, factorize quadratics so you can just do it that way and you'll end up with three brackets with values of x plus or minus something in it and that is how you factorize fully a cubic uh, equation so uh, these are uh, questions that I want to ask you to solve I want you to find uh, fully factorize these three cubic equations so remember trial and error uh, try 1 then 2 then 3 then 5 because 4 is a factor or well 4 is not a prime number so you don't need to try a number that is not prime and so yeah you can try that out and I shall uh, wait for you to finish or pause if you want to do it because I'm about to give out the answer alright the answer is as on the screen x plus 1, x minus 3, x plus 5 as the first one, x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 5 as the second one and x minus 2, x minus 1 squared is the other one so that's it for me, uh, from me uh, for this video, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you've learned something, um, leave me a like, give me some comments, and I will see you next time.